Anyway, on to other things. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. COP26, the UN Climate Summit, due to take place in Glasgow this year, is seen by many as a pivotal moment in the struggle to save the planet. And it's also going to be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for the young artists who've come out on top in a nationwide competition to showcase their work. Well, organised by the Together for Our Planet campaign, the brief was to draw, paint our design, a vision for the future of our Earth. Or Muriel Gray is one of the judges. She joins me now alongside one of the winners, Emma, who's a pupil at George Heriot's in Edinburgh. Lovely to have you both with us this morning. Emma, first of all, just tell us a bit about your winning entry. What inspired you? What's it about? Um, Well, I was inspired to draw this piece. Since currently there's a lot of hate and negativity in the world. And I think if we all work together and play our part, we can really change the world. So tell us a bit about your entry. Now, bearing in mind, this is radio, so unfortunately we can't see it. So you're going to have to paint a picture for for us with your words. So describe your entry to us. Well, it's basically just a lot lot of children holding up the earth, showing that we can all help and we can all make a difference and showing a cleaner, healthier, happier, greener world. Muriel, you're with us too. One of the judges, just tell us why Emma's art stood out for you. Oh, well, it's absolutely gorgeous. Well done, Emma. It's actually (laughs) lovely to hear you because I've just been looking at your beautiful artworks. It's lovely to hear your voice. Um, There were absolutely thousands of wonderful entries. um, And of course, uh, uh, Emma's the overall winner, but there are other um, super entries too. But if I can describe Emma's beautiful drawing, it's it's the world cut in half. Um, So it's like a bowl. If you can imagine a bowl and there's some fantastic children from all backgrounds and abilities is holding up, propping up the earth as this beautiful waterfall tumbles down with a wee face and flowers and birds. And yet, as Emma said, it is so cheerful and heartwarming that it's impossible not to smile when you look at it and think we're all going to be OK. And it's interesting because it strikes me sometimes, and I was speaking to Laura about this earlier on, uh, Laura McKeever about this earlier on, is sometimes I think children and young people are, are far more engaged in the, in the climate change debate than a lot of adults I know are. Is that something that, that strikes you, Muriel? Oh, absolutely. And also, um, it, it's it's their world. I mean, um, <laughs> we've made the mess of it. I'm really sorry, Emma. I apologise on behalf of my entire generation. Um, but there's still time to do something about it, which is what COP26 in, in this very city, Glasgow, is all about. Um, and it's the, the future belongs to, to young people. And the fact that they're so positive about it, um, it just fills me with enormous hope. Emma, there, Muriel sounds absolutely um, delighted with your work, very impressed. How important is climate change to you and your friends, would you say? Um, I think climate change is extremely important to me and my friends and everyone because if it doesn't get stopped, it will destroy the future of our planet and we only have eight years left to stop global warming and carbon emissions. And what would you like to see governments and people that have got that power to do about climate change, do you think? Well, I know that governments are working really hard to tackle this crisis, but I don't think they're doing enough. But there's lots of things, luckily, that they can do to help, including reducing greenhouse gas emissions, eliminating unnecessary plastics, and controlling and reducing pollution. And also, instead of spending a billion pounds a year on fossil fuel energy, they should invest it in stopping climate change. Muriel, how much hope does that give you that that people like Emma and her friends are so invested and so knowledgeable about climate change? I, I, I'm slightly dumbstruck by that, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, I think, you know, it's like, Professor Emma, I'm going to enrol in your lecture. <laughs> so it's better than anything I've heard from any politician, <laughs> frankly. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled to hear that. That's that's absolutely wonderful. And, and of course, I'm doubly thrilled that Emma's able to express that through art because um, if you just talk about that for a second, it's the wonderful way for, I mean, Emma is incredibly articulate, but there's other ways to articulate your, your fears and your hopes and, and things that you can't say other ways. And, and that obviously is through art. So Emma obviously has the gift of both, but um, it, that's great. Oh gosh, I'm really cheery now. We're <laughs> saved. We're all <laughs> saved, Emma. And we're, Laura and I are grinning as well, actually. I know it's such a positive <laughs> thing, isn't it? And for you, Muriel, why was it important to get involved in a competition like this, do you think, to, supposed to have these conversations as well that we're having. 
Well, I mean, obviously, I'm massively uh, excited and involved in COP26 in, in all kinds of ways, as you would you would expect. But this so appealed to me because it was a competition for children to express their emotions through art, and and of course, that to me is massively important. And as I say, art just it crosses all boundaries, and you know, if you can't find a way to articulate yourself in some other way, art is the absolute you know epitome of of the way to get that message across. So I've so enjoyed looking at all the entries. They've been absolutely brilliant. And, and and that also fills me with joy too, because art sometimes gets looked on as a hobby uh, in schools. In fact, it should be core curriculum, really, because it's the, one of the most important things uh, that we should be teaching our young people to express themselves through creativity. I can hear the smile in your voice, Muriel. Thank you so much for joining us <laughs> this morning, Muriel. And well done, Emma. That's brilliant stuff. Uh, obviously impressed the judges uh, no end. Uh, pupil at George Heriot's in Edinburgh.